Yep, it's that time of year. Corn planter's in the shop. To make some modification, replace some parts. Got to fix this marker. As you can see, I've got to weld another piece back onto this one. Um, but my plan is I'm going to grind that weld down on there, put a collar over it, get a new, find where my piece went off this side, re-weld it, grind it down, put a collar over there too because that's the weak spot. Um, with my corn planter, this is how the marker rolls going forward this way. So it pushes against the corn planter here. When that cuts in, it pushes, and it pushes up on the corn planter. It doesn't do it as bad when I have it long. See, I have my markers set long, so they run. Say I have this marker down over here. I run my tire on that side of the tractor in the furrow mark from the marker. <clears throat> it doesn't do it, or it doesn't do it near as bad when I have them long. When I have them short, like you're going to run it down the center of the tractor, then it's really bad at lifting um, lifting the planter up, and then it takes weight off the seed unit, and that's kind of our problem. But I am going to order all new disc openers. These are sloppy and wore down. <clears throat> Go through here, make sure all those bearings are tight, and the plan is I'm going to get spike closing wheel for each row. So, I'm going to go through and order all those parts, see what all I need. I need a sensor for this row unit. Uh, this, this one's lit up, but it's not, uh, it's not sensing. Then I've got to replace my springs here. These two broke at the end of the year. i go through and replace all those. So, and then my plan is... What I'm thinking about doing is flipping my markers from one side to the other, so instead of pushing, they're pulling. And I'm going to get notch coulters for there. Um, it's really hard to get these set with them this way because they're so aggressive. You Either they're not making a mark or they're digging down deep. So I'm hoping if I flip them the other way so they're pulling, they're just going to kind of scratch the ground. I'm hoping it will be just enough that I can see it because I really do not want to make any bigger furrow than I have to on my seed markers. So <clears throat> that's what we got going on there. So the corn planter is in the shop. I should take these uh, um, field cultivator teeth off too. It's an experiment we tried once that didn't yield any really benefit to doing it. So... <clears throat> So yeah, oh here's my other piece right here. I put it in the axle. So I gotta get that welded back on. And I don't put those in until I'm ready to go plant. So otherwise when they're tall like that, they don't fit in the shed very well. They won't they won't go through the lean to door down there where I store it. So I just pop them out. But the plan is this year when I get them set, I'm gonna weld something on here so I know where it goes back to every time so I don't have to measure it. Um, I have a mark on there with paint pen but it'd be nice just to have a piece of steel to butt it up to. So yeah, corn planter is in the shop. Start working on it. I'm going to get Keaton seed firmers for it too. It does not have those and I can't remember what they were like $7.50 a row or $13.50 a row so I'm going to order four of those as well. Um, my wavy coulters in the front, there's plenty left on them. We're going to leave them. But I'm going to put all eight new disc openers on it because you can see they're pretty sloppy. And then I got to get some new bearings and stuff for those. Um, the one on the other side last year, I actually tightened it up. And it actually stayed, so I might go through and see if I can tighten them up first. Um, I got some shims to put inside there. So I go through and do that and yeah. So anyhow, and then I don't know if we're gonna try and put some weight on it or not. Um the biggest issue is my markers. If I can get my marker issue figured out, I shouldn't need the weight. So so anyhow, corn planters in the shop. So once I get some parts here, we'll uh make some videos of 
place some parts on the corn planter.